Twilight Armor for Tower Damage. Wow. Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new update on Advanced Server featuring Twilight Armor, Season 32 skin, and Attack Speed stats. First is the item, Twilight Armor. The damage protection it gives will now have zero cooldown, which means the unique passive is always on. As you can see, they've removed the effect when using Twilight Armor. To balance, they had to adjust the way it reduces damage. Upon taking more than 800 damage in a single instance, the excess damage beyond that amount is reduced by 50%. For example, you receive 3,675 points of damage from Aldog. If you were using Twilight Armor, the damage will be reduced to 2,237. With this new Twilight Armor, the reduction becomes more significant as the damage increases. And since it's always on, it's now effective against tower damage. As you can see, the tower damage is lower on a hero with Twilight Armor. I think this is way better compared to the official server version. On the old version, you only get protection every 5 seconds, but on this one, it's always on. Non-tank users can also wear it since the damage reduction is no longer based on your maximum HP. It's perfect for late game damage against Leslie and Aldous. Indirect nerf, right? And remember, it works for all kinds of damage including magic and true damage. One hit combos of Eudora and Veil vale will be affected by this item. Next is the cancellation of the minus 10% attack speed on all heroes. Instead of slowing down heroes, the developers will focus on items. And that includes Corrosion Sight, Demon Hunter Sword, Sea Halberd, Wind Talker, and Hassis Claws. All of them will receive a minus 5% attack speed. Meanwhile, Golden Staff Unique Passive is lowered by 20% attack speed. The developer said these adjustments were made because of the upcoming feature called Move and Attack where it's smoother to move while doing basic attacks. And since high attack speed heroes will greatly benefit this update, they had to lower the attack speed stats for balance. But that means it's also an indirect nerf on 1-1 and Irrital because they can already move while attacking and they also use those items. Anyway, Battle Spell Inspire was also nerfed with a lower attack speed buff. There was also something about the attack speed limit. They said they removed the attack speed limit but they tested it and the limit is still at 3 points. It doesn't go past 3 points even with 6 wind talkers. Just like before, the only way it can increase is with either Golden Staff or Inspire. Maybe it's not implemented yet but removing the attack speed limit sounds fun, right? Next is the Season 32 skin for Diggy and it's called Underwood Steward. Don't let his cute eyes fool you. This little bird is a nightmare on rank games. And this is the new season design featuring Chip in the background. Shape shifting is the name of the season. Next is the buff on Argus. They increase his attack growth from 3.5 to 6. That's an additional 34 points of physical attack at max level. Finally, some good news for Argus players. Next is the nerf on Nana. The movement boost when activating her passive is lowered from 70 to 30%. That means she's easier to follow and kill once she's used to her passive. The developer said she has a near 100% escape rate when it's activated, that's why they had to do this. Next is the nerf on Aurora. Enemies that are on the inner part of her second skill will no longer be frozen. She can still freeze targets but they had to be at the outer part of the skill. I think this is a well deserved nerf considering you can't play her anymore because she's banned all the time. Next is the buff on Fredrin. They lower the cooldown of his first and second skill by 1 second. I don't know why but this looks like a big improvement. Next is the buff on Hayabusa. His first skill gets a life-changing additional 10 points of damage. Welcome to the meta, Haya! Next is Masha. They've removed her resilience and CC immunity when losing HP bars. As you can see, she can be knocked up even on her last HP bar. The developer said they've removed the feature because she was overwhelmingly powerful now that her skills won't cost HP when at her last HP bar. So no more CC immunity for Masha's 37 revamp. 
Next is the revert on Edit's lane clearing ability. Her passive will have a lower damage against minions, from 200 down to 150% damage. Next are more adjustments to the revamped Helcurt. Lower movement boost during his stealth and spotted state, which I think is just fair. Next is the new hero, Chip. When using his ultimate, the main portal will now appear on the minimap. This will give his teammates better information whether they want to join Chip or not. And you can be attacking or using skills when trying to teleport on the main portal. Next are more adjustments on the marksman heroes, just like on the last update. Bayless attack growth is increased by 2 points. Granger and Bruno gets lower base attack stats. Irital and Mia get lower base and attack growth. Faint has lower base and a slightly higher attack growth. They are probably still testing the stats for the upcoming move and attack feature. Next are the price adjustments for Oracle and Radiant Armor. Oracle is now cheaper by 200 gold. Meanwhile, Radiant Armor's price is increased by 140 gold. Next are the new control settings specifically for the new move and attack feature. I did some basic test and I didn't find anything big. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Anyway, here are the new control settings. I'll just read their description because I'm also confused on what they do. Close pursue is the extra distance you will pursue a target when the target is outside your attack range. When enabled, the pursuit distance is an extra minimum distance outside the attack range. What? Pause movement at joystick center. When this is on, it will always show the joystick anti-shake area. When off, it will only show the anti-shake area when you press the joystick, not when you drag it. Maybe they could have worded it better, but those descriptions are giving me a headache. Filter active creeps. When this is on, enemies are attacked in the order of heroes, active creeps, minions, and then inactive creeps. When this is off, it will not distinguish between active and inactive creeps. Okay, so this one is a bit easier to understand, right? Inactive creeps will have less priority when this feature is turned on. It's probably for the improvement of retribution targeting. Last one is the attack activation distance. It says attack activation distance is the maximum distance at which you can select a target by tapping the attack button when there's no target nearby. Confusing, right? Maybe you can shed some light on how those settings work in the comment section. Anyway, last one is the All-Star Login Gift. You can get between 19 to 1,111 promo diamonds when you open it. Let's open it to buy an epic skin. And that's it for our weekly advanced server update. So what can you say about the attack speed adjustments? How about the new Twilight Armor? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.